so say by uh, saturday or sunday it, it should be ready so hopefully by saturday itself it should be ready oh, okay sir yeah so uh, in today's session we are going to learn about uh, search engine optimization so search engine optimization is the process where uh, say uh, we optimize our website so that it can come up uh, into search engine so that it can rank in search engine <clears throat> so what are the things that we are going to learn so we are going to learn what is seo uh, then uh, what is search engine results page seo versus ppc then what are search engines then main components of search engines on page optimization off page optimization keyword research something like that so like this uh, we have few topics over here which we are going to see today Uh, which will help us to understand SEO in a more better way. So to start with, uh, what is search engine optimization? So it's all the efforts that we try to rank our website uh, and show up in search engines. On the search engine results page, is uh, the whole process is called as search engine optimization. So basically, getting our website into search engine. when a person will search with a keyword so that process is called as search engine optimization now uh, the page which comes up uh, when we type any keyword in search engine that page is called as search engine results page because on that page we get all the results so that page is called as search engine results page so now uh, there are two ways where we can get our website into search engine the first one is search engine optimization and the second one is ppc that is called as pay per click so pay per click is something uh, say which is paid option wherein uh, we will learn we will we will be learning this uh, when we go to uh, google ads so at that time we will be learning what is pay per click so for our understanding at this moment i would uh, show you the difference over here uh, say like uh, i will search for some keyword over here and then you can see over here ad over here again ad again over here ad so these are all advertisements these are not organic results where people have taken time and efforts to get their results in search engine so this is like i do an ad and i can uh, come in front of people or say come uh, be online and uh, in front of the world in just one or two hours so these are all pay per click uh, ads <coughs> and why do we say pay per click because uh, whenever a person will click on this link at that time whatever is the rate of this particular keyword because this particular keyword is coming up uh, over here say mm, uh, in this uh, ad they are using this keyword so whatever is the rate of this keyword going on today that much rate would be deducted from their account similar is the case for all of them who are using this particular keyword so that much amount will get deducted so whenever a person will click on this so some amount will get deducted that is the reason it is called as pay per click it is also called as search ads because whenever we search something in google at that time we get this ads so it is also called as search ads so these are all ppc ads and uh, say the organic results where people take time and efforts to get their websites into search engine so these are all the results so these are all organic results and these are all pay per click results so that is paid advertisement so that is the main difference over here now <clears throat> uh yeah so now what to be what are search engines so let us understand some uh, few important things about search engines so the first thing over here is uh, search engine is a software system or application where users can search on the search engine 
uh, for whatever content they are searching their desired search terms in google and then they get the desired results out of those uh, search engines so that application is called as search engine so now um, uh, there are various search engines like google yahoo msn ask aol bing and uh, say there are other more than thousands of search engines available in the market but the most one used is google so we are going to concentrate more on google because 80 percent of the people uses google worldwide so that is uh, the search engines now uh, say how does a search engine work so why should we know that uh, how does a search engine work that is because uh, say suppose if I want to drive a vehicle first of all I need to learn how to drive a vehicle after that only I can drive it so the same way if I know how does a search engine work then it is easier for me to get my website into search engine that is the reason I should understand that how does a search engine work so now there are certain components of search engine say the first one is spider <coughs> so these spiders are the programs that search engine uses to follow the links throughout the internet grabbing content from the websites and adding it into the search engine database so these spiders are also called as robots or crawlers so now what is the work of spiders so they will travel across the internet 24 by 7 and they will collect all the links which are present on the internet so it can be the links of the website it can be the links which are used inside the website and uh, all the links all the pages that are available th those links it will collect and it will store it in the database of google <coughs> now uh, say the next process is crawling so in this crawling process when uh, say the spider will find the documents it will visit that website and uh, it will uh, pick up the entire website's content but over here it is a bit different process it is not similar to a spider because spider will collect all the links but uh, in crawling process what happens in crawling process that spider will first check the document if it is available in google's database or not so why do they check that uh, the content is already available in google or not because google does not want duplicate content in their search engine so that it doesn't become a waste so people should not think that okay this content is coming up again and again on different websites so you will never find such kind of things uh, in google uh, you with any keywords that you are searching so for that reason google will collect only original and unique content which people are uploading uh, so it can be on the website it can be on a blog it can be a youtube video it can be a facebook post it can be a twitter tweet or uh, any images that i am uploading online anything any the particular thing that is getting uploaded on the internet that thing is crawled by uh, the search engine spiders so whether it is a document text image videos pdf anything whatever you upload that all things comes in the eyes of google and it collects that information and then it will store it in the external and internal links of the website in google's uh, database so databank is database so now we know that uh, we have to uh, write only original content we cannot copy uh, content from here and there and put it in our website because uh, say google wants only original content uh, on the website so that your website can easily come up in search engine so that is one of the thing <clears throat> and then the last process uh, over here is indexing so indexing is the process of arranging all the content which is collected by uh, spiders with the crawling process and it stores it in the database so now how does all these links uh, are stored in uh, uh, say google's database the process of indexing say like uh, i'll give you a good example say like uh, you go to a library and uh, you want to uh, search for a book so uh, if you are searching for any book you will go to the category section of that book and then you will be able to find that book right so in the library all the books are arranged in a particular section wise uh, so that it is easy to retrieve whichever book i want 
so similar way all the links all the content with uh, which are mapped with the keywords they will be arranged in such a way that whenever a person searches for any keyword in google they can find it very easily so i i can just show you an example over here if i go to google say right now i have searched for digital marketing courses so now it has found about so many results so you can see this many results were found and those results were provided to us in just 0.89 seconds so so many websites are available so so many websites were displayed in just less than one second 0.89 seconds and all of them are uh, say in a particular order that okay this website has to come at the first because this they have done good seo then comes second number then comes third number then comes fourth number then comes fifth number like that uh, this many results are arranged in that particular order so this is what we are talking about so that process is called as indexing process where uh, all the arranging and storing work is done in a particular order so these are the components of search engine so now after learning this components we got to know that uh, google will collect all the information whether it is text content it is a image content it is a video content but it will collect only unique content which is already not available in google's database so one thing is very clear that i cannot copy anybody's content and use it in my website if i do that i am allowed to do that but uh, say <clears throat> my website will never come up in search engine so that is the only uh, criteria that we have to meet which is from google so that is the components of search engine now how does all these things happen how do we actually do seo on our website so now there are certain steps that we need to follow over here so on page optimization is one part in uh, uh, search engine optimization and the second part is off page seo <coughs> so on page seo is something which we uh, where we work on our website that is the reason it says that it is on page optimization and off page optimization is something where we work off the website where we don't touch our website but we promote our website on various different websites throughout the world so that also we are going to cover so now first thing uh, the most important thing that is on page optimization so what are the things that we need to consider over here so we have to meet all these conditions so what exactly are these conditions so before that let me just explain you in a notepad that how uh, this and what are the things that we have to use at all these places so now we know that uh, a search engine works with the help of keywords so that is what we know and now uh, see suppose you want to write a blog and uh, you select a topic now topic will have a main keyword around which you want to create a blog so say like i want to create a blog on uh, mm, anything say like i want to create a blog on uh, how to create a website or something like that so now over here uh, say website can be our main keyword or uh, say something like that so i will select that okay website is my main keyword so i'll copy this so here so website is my main keyword and now i have to use this uh, keyword in my content everywhere so this is the first criteria so now google says that uh, for any topic any blog that you are writing you should not rely on just one keyword which is your main keyword you should have some secondary keyword that is supporting keywords so secondary keywords so these keywords can be say like website so in website what are the things that are related so in website the related keywords can be a domain name it can be a hosting it can be email addresses 
uh, then uh, over here uh, it can be something like uh, say the database so like these are all supporting keywords which are related to a website so this is the main keyword and these are all supporting keywords so these all keywords also we have to use it at the multiple places in the blog at various places so now this is the main keyword which we have to use everywhere so now let's start with this understanding that this keyword has to be used everywhere so where exactly so the first place is title tag over here so now what is title tag so whenever we go to a search engine and uh, whenever we see the blue title so this is the blue title this is called as title so in search engine language search engine optimization language it is called as meta title so in this meta title your primary keyword should be there see over here i am using digital marketing course so you can see over here digital marketing course is there in the in this title so this condition is meeting right so like this we have to use our main uh, focus key phrase in the title then comes description so this description in seo language is called as meta description so this is the description so whatever content we see below the title that is called as meta description so this is meta description this is meta description this is meta description so in this meta description also you need to have your primary keyword so over here you can see digital marketing course is the keyword and uh, over here also you can see digital marketing course is there over here also you can see digital marketing and course then uh, over here also you can see digital marketing course over here also you can see digital marketing and course so like this the criteria is matching so in the title also you can see digital marketing course everywhere and uh, in the description also you can see the keyword the keyword main keyword is used over here so this keyword is also called as focus keyword uh, so now the description is also matching so that criteria is done then comes url so in the url also you need to have uh, your primary focus keyword so say suppose we are using digital marketing course over here so let us check out the website so any website randomly so i'll open this website i'll open this website i'll open this website and uh, say let us open even this website so we have opened four websites now let us see if uh, the this digital marketing course is coming up in the url or not so over here we can see course is there and digital marketing is also there so digital marketing course is coming up in the uh, url then the second one over here we can see digital marketing course is coming up in the url in the third one we can see digital marketing is coming up and of course the course is also coming up so it is not necessary that you have to have them together only so it can be separate also so digital marketing and the course so that is also okay then over here we can see digital marketing course so you can pick up uh, any random websites uh, which are available on the internet and uh, you will find your criteria meeting otherwise if any of the criteria does not uh, meet which is mentioned over here then your website will never come up so these all websites which are coming up have already met all the conditions which are listed over here so now the third thing is site navigation so what is site navigation so site navigation are the links on the website which take you from one page to another so those links should also have digital marketing so you need to link your uh, uh, pages uh, and links with your focus key phrase so here i can see let me see if i can find digital marketing <coughs> or uh, digital marketing so here you can see digital marketing and course so this criteria is meeting so i can click over here and it will take me to some another page so you can see this is the link so this is site navigation so the navigation within the website so like this uh, this criteria is also meeting so like this it will meet in any of the website uh, that criteria will be meeting after that uh, we have uh, site maps so site map and robot.txt these two are the files which are different files than the other ones so now what is the role of a site map so basically 
a site map is the all the information about the pages images videos uh, documents of your website uh, mentioned in the file so that file will contain the url of all the pages all the images all the videos all the documents and uh, it is created so let me just show you an uh, example of that so i'll show you an example of uh, sitemap how does it look like so i'll open it and uh, i will search for sitemap.xml so it's an xml file it looks like a text file and over here you can see the links of the website so this is the base url that is the main url of the website then these are the other urls of the website the category url and the again the category url over here again category url then this is the about us page of the website then this is the events page of the website then this is the blogs page of the website then over here our team uh, url of the website then over here contact us page so like this each and every url uh, which is there each and every page or uh, any asset on your website uh, is there so it has a url so all those url are mentioned over here so we can see so many urls so it would be approximately on my website there are around 600 to 700 urls so all those urls will be listed over here so this is the, the sitemap.xml file where we need to store all the urls of our website so now why we need to create this file so i'll come to it uh, in a moment uh, first i will explain you the robot.txt file so over here we can see robot.txt file so now say when the google bot is coming up on our website so this uh, two files are the communication files so robot.txt file and the sitemap. Uh, xml file these two files are the most important files uh, for our website so over here whenever a bot will come up in on our website it will first search for this its file its own file so the robot is coming to our file so it will search for robot.txt file so it will find the file and it will open the file and after opening it will read the first line so it says that user agent star so star means it applies to all search engine robots so if google bot is coming up so it's uh, it will read this first line and say that okay star is means all the search engines so even i can uh, take the content from this website so this applies to me also okay so then it reads the second line allow slash so slash means the home directory where all the pages of the website are stored so it means that i am allowed to collect all the pages uh, from the home directory that is the root directory of the website then it reads the third line so disallow slash wp admin slash so it says it will understand that i am not allowed to pick up this particular directory from the website so it will not touch any files in this web in this directory on our website so it because we have mentioned that uh, not to allow this particular directory maybe i might have uh, some uh, uh, important personal files or family photographs or uh, some uh, uh, family events uh, directory over there which i don't want to show it to the world so in that case i will tell that okay disallow this particular directory uh, so it will say that okay i will not touch this directory and then it reads the fourth line which says that sitemap is located at this uh, particular url so then it will close this file and it will open the xml file and it will pick up only the links which are mentioned in this file so we have to make sure that we are updating this file uh, every now and then depending on the content that we are adding on our website so apart from the links which are mentioned in this uh, particular file no other link from your website will be taken and stored into search engine so that is the main reason we create this file so that we tell google that uh, google or any search engine bots 
that these are all the URLs that we want uh, to place our content uh, in search engines database so that when people will come to search with our keywords our website pages will be displayed so that is the reason we create these two files so now we understood that uh, sitemap and robot.txt file these two files are the communication file with which our website will communicate with search engines to transfer the data from our website to google search engine or any search engine so that is communication file so now coming back to images so now in images also we have used our focus keyword everywhere so now in images also we have to use our focus key phrase so now we may think that uh, how can we use an image uh, how can we use a name uh, or a focus key phrase in our image i mean uh, how will uh, google bot read the image so google bot cannot read the images it can only read the content which we have provided so in this case say like example over here i go to the images which i have placed on my website so these are all the images which are there on my website so you can see over here every image has a particular name so you can see google autocomplete over here you can see blue tick over here you can see metaverse over here you can see nft instagram uh, tool metaverse 2 then over here seo keywords then lead generation content marketing so every image is, uh, ha is having a particular name i am not using any name uh, any name of the image like 1.jpg 2.png uh, then abc.png uh, or jpg something like that i am not using any junk characters i am giving a proper naming convention to each and every file so that when uh, anybody will search for any keyword uh, in google images at that time my images and my website will come up in search engine so that is what we can see over here so that is uh, what is we mean that uh, how do i uh, add focus key phrase in the images so by giving it a name so if my uh, focus keyword is digital marketing course then i need to search for an image which represents digital marketing <coughs> course and i will name that image as digital marketing course so then that criteria fulfills so if we want to see in search engine so i can go to uh, say digital marketing course over here in images and you will see all the images which are related to digital marketing only you do not see any other type of image over here so that is because these all people have named the uh, images as per the uh, seo format uh, which i am just mentioning about the focus key phrase so that is the reason over here the these all images are coming up so similar way even we have to use a proper naming convention like what i have used over here so that we have to use in images then the next thing is headings so what is headings so google says that uh, whenever you write any content at that time you need to have headings between paragraphs so just let me see if i have any paragraphs on my website mm, i go to one of this website or uh, threebooted.com and i can see various uh, blogs so okay in this i don't have maybe in some another blog okay over here also i don't have okay algorithm of google so yes i can see over here so you can see these are the headings between paragraphs so google says that uh, after every 300 words you need to have a heading so over here these headings are added so and these headings should also contain your primary focus key phrase that we have selected so i can add uh, those keywords over here so that is what we mean so here the algorithm of google so maybe the algorithm is the focus key phrase over here so you can see algorithm is over here then uh, over here also say google is there 
so like this uh, say because there are only three of them so we don't use in more of them so one is okay uh, so that's okay so like this we keep headings and this in these headings also we use our focus key phrase then robot.txt file we have already seen so now it's time to understand the keyword usage so how many times should i use a particular focus key phrase which i have selected over here how many times should i use in my content so if i am using my focus key phrase then throughout the content i should see what is the length of the article and then i need to decide that what is the uh, how many number of times i can use say suppose my article is of 500 words so if my article is of 500 words then google says that you can use two to three percent of the total length so two percent of 500 is 10 words so that is 10 times i have to use my focus key phrase and if i decide to use it for three percent so five threes are 15 so 15 times i have to use my focus key phrase in this content so 15 times not just i'll just complete it in one paragraph or two paragraphs and it is done no i should be using it throughout the content so from start till the end of the article i should use it uniformly so that is the keyword usage that is for how many times i should use it so the formula is two percent to three percent so you can use anything in between also you can use two and a half percent also that's absolutely fine that's not a problem so that is keyword usage then comes keyword density so keyword density like i was just mentioning in this that uh, how close or how far you are placing the keywords in this whole uh, blog so like i said that we cannot uh, place all the keywords say suppose i have to add 10 keywords so i cannot just complete it in one paragraph and i cannot increase the density in one paragraph so then that will be keyword stuffing or keyword spamming so i cannot use that so that 10 times i have to use it throughout the content maybe two times over here maybe two times in this paragraph maybe two times in this paragraph and maybe this paragraph is longer over here so maybe three times over here and i will complete the total 10 times or 15 times whatever i have to use so from the start till end of the content i have to uniformly distribute my focus key phrase in my blog that is in my content so that is called as keyword density after that we have mobile seo <coughs> so what is mobile seo so mobile seo means that uh, first of all there are a uh, few conditions that we need to meet uh, for a mobile seo <coughs> the first condition is that our website should be responsive so what do we mean by responsive so responsive means that our website should take the place or the shape of the container say like if i put water in any whether in any vessel or utensil it will take the shape of the utensil so the same way my website should open uniformly if i am opening in a 32 inch tv or a desktop or a laptop or a projector or a, say even in a smartphone or a mobile phone which is of a small screen so my website should look uniform across all the sizes of the device if that is done then my website is responsive so that is the first criteria which meets my uh, mobile seo criteria so then that is first part is done so in that uh, if i am opening my website in a mobile device it doesn't mean that i should uh, the website should look similar to the way i see it on a desktop or a laptop but uh, say uh, it should not have a horizontal scroll bar so left and right i should not uh, see that left and right horizontal scroll bar should be gone uh, it should only have a vertical scroll bar so all the content which is placed on the website will come one below the other automatically it will adjust and the menu will also become responsive 
and uh, we can see the website perfectly in all the devices uh, over here so this is one of the thing that we need to do then nowadays uh, people are searching for in google uh, with the help of uh, say typing as well as we have the option of voice over here so now when people are searching by typing text over here then the results that you get might differ when you search the same keyword by searching by voice why because maybe we have not implemented the minimum required standards for using this uh, search by voice feature on our website uh, this is something like uh, a standard that we follow say like if i go to buy electrical items uh, say like geyser or uh, say oven or toaster or uh, say washing machine or anything uh, what is it that we look for we look for isi mark so if it is isi approved then only i will purchase that product so i mean in olden days uh, we had uh, this problem so olden days we used to check it but today all the people in all the shops and showrooms they have standard items which is having isi mark so we don't need to worry so for electronics uh, electricals we have uh, isi mark and now for electronics if you see you will see a ce mark on each and every device whether it is your mobile phone or a mobile battery or your laptop your mouse your uh, your uh, telephone or your monitor your television each and every electronic item which you have in your house will have a ce mark so ce certification so that is uh, something that we have so say let me just show you in the images so this is what i am talking about this is the ce mark which you will see so even if you pick up your mouse and see below your mouse you will find this uh, ce mark everywhere so in your uh, or television or laptop or desktop a any item that you have electronic item you will find this mark if you do not find this mark in your device then uh, you should understand that that is not a standard product so that can be a duplicate product or a refurbished product or uh, say um, uh, say manufactured locally by local manufacturers and not the standard manufacturers so this is what i'm talking about so like that uh, say in search also we have a standard for using this so we call it as a voice schema so we need to implement voice schema in our website so that is just one plugin that we need to install for this and uh, uh, it takes care of everything so i mean it hardly takes two minutes and uh, say another five minutes to configure it so five to seven minutes maximum 10 minutes and uh, our website is compliant with the standards that uh, we have to follow so that is uh, the mobile seo part so we need to take care of it now the next thing over here we can see this arrow over here which is uh, say pointing towards this title tag so i mean we have already completed the circle and over here it stays arrow so it means that we again need to start from here so why do we need to start again when we have already completed everything i have already done the seo i have taken care of everything so it says that you do not need to do today when you have already completed it but you need to keep on checking all these things every few days maybe a week to 10 days you should at least check once that uh, whatever you are using in your website is absolutely perfect because the keywords which you have selected whether there is a demand for those keywords or not that you need to check so because uh, if there is the keyword which we have selected has a very good demand today maybe after uh, say two months three months the demand might not be there people might not be searching in google then what is the use of using that keyword in my website uh, so if uh, nobody searching for that keyword it means that my website will not come up in search engines 
so for that reason what i need to do is i need to replace it with uh, another uh, similar kind of word or synonym of that keyword which people are searching so uh, this is uh, a continuous process so it is not just a one time uh, process that i completed seo on my website and uh, i am done it's not like that it's a continuous process see if we are reaching to the top of the search engine my website is coming up in the first page of search engine then i have to maintain it see getting the position is very easy i will take a uh, lots of efforts maybe i'll work too hard uh, two months three months four months and i will get my website into search engine fine that all efforts will get your website into search engine but after that it is difficult to maintain the position see getting is easy, getting things is easy but maintaining those standards is very difficult so for that reason you need to do this every week over here if you do it every week then it is really very good if you can do it more often then it's even good maybe twice a week if you do it's still better or else at least if you don't have time you have busy schedule then you can you should not ignore it and you should at least check twice a month minimum so minimum you need to check all these things first of all do the keyword research which we will learn and then uh, over here you see that okay find the keywords which i am using are the right ones or not whether it has demand or not uh, so whether it has the same demand or less demand when i had selected this keyword and uh, then we decide and then we do all these things so this is called as uh, on page optimization so this is what we are going to do practically uh, in the search engine optimization and uh, the next thing over here we have is off page optimization so now what is off page optimization so in our off page optimization we do not touch our website so off page optimization refers to all the measures that can be taken outside of the actual website in order to improve its position in search engine so now how can that happen that i will take all the steps to uh, you know, all the steps outside my website actual website and also improve the position of my website in search engine yes that's quite possible and this is one of the easiest method with which you can get your website into search engines very easily and uh, with some of the tools which we are going to see in the coming sessions at that time you will get to know that uh, how this is possible so now uh, say i it's time to promote uh, to the world so over here the first thing is directory submissions so directory submissions we know what are the called as directory say like uh, we have just dialed then trade india india mart exporters india like this there are various search engines uh, so directories are available we can uh, post our we can create an account and list our business in those directories and uh, we should not forget to add our website link over there because without uh, our website link off page seo is not confirmed and uh, we cannot say that it is we have done off page seo for our website if our if that of page seo does not contain our website link so that is one of the thing then the next thing is search engine submissions so however search engine submission process is very automatic say we have just seen that uh, google's process is very automatic and all the content is added automatically by the robots and spiders and crawlers uh, who are coming to our website and collecting the content and storing the content in uh, search engines database but now there are certain search engines which did not upgrade from many years so they work in a very typical old traditional fashion where we need to go and add our website into their search engines so of course uh, say i cannot do it manually to go and uh, in search engine so there are certain websites which will submit our website to uh, say hundreds of search engines so that process 
so we can go to search engines and uh, submit our website to all the search engines so whenever people are searching for uh, our keywords our website will come up so that is what we need to do say of course uh, there is a manual process of also adding our website into google search engine so that also i am going to teach you so that is altogether a separate module that we are going to learn which is called as google search console so that we are going to see so after that we have blogs article submission so we can create uh, say some small blogs or articles to promote our website and then add links to it so like that uh, people will read those uh, blogs and they will click on the link and they will come to our website and uh, then we get traffic on our website so like this we can create many blogs articles keep on doing it and uh, submit uh, the content so that is very helpful then the next thing is social bookmarking social media social uh, networking websites so we know social media websites so that is like facebook twitter linkedin youtube uh, then snapchat and whatsapp and uh, twitch tv and uh, i mean there are uh, thousands and thousands of uh, websites social media websites uh, which we can uh, use so in this module say when we will be doing off page seo at that time we will see many search engines many social media websites uh, wherein we can create accounts and uh, we can promote our content so in the introduction i had mentioned that uh, we are going to see top 50 social media websites so yes over here we are going to see many websites where we can create an account and uh, how we can use them to promote our business so that is with the help of off page seo by putting content of our website or promotional content on those social media so that is uh, social bookmarking websites where we'll be using it and then after that we have uh, free classified websites so basically what is free classified websites where we can post our ad so we know quicker and olx these two are the advertising websites free classified websites where i can post my ads and uh, people can see those ads and they will reply back and then we discuss and meet a location exchange phone numbers and then we buy and sell things so that is uh, free classified so in free classifieds like olx uh, we have services say like in case i am into digital marketing which is not a product but it's a service but in olx you find all the products which are being sold but apart from the products uh, olx also has a section called as services so in that services uh, there is a sub category called as uh, tuitions and classes tutoring and classes something like that i can use that and promote my digital marketing courses over there so that is also one of the best thing and i can also put the url of my website so that is a very good option so i can use free classified also and uh, of course uh, it's not just olx and uh, quicker that we are talking about uh, there are millions and billions of websites there are no more websites than classified websites classified website is the highest in the world so if we talk about the total number of websites then uh, say it's very difficult to count because uh, every day thousands of new websites are coming up related to classified websites so uh, of course we have one of the world's biggest classified website which is craigslist.org wherein it is uh, having presence in most of the continents regions countries and cities of uh, various countries and uh, yes i want to put an ad in california i can put it i want to put my ad in boston i can do that i want to do it in san diego i can post my ad in san diego i want to post my ad in germany i can do that i want to post my ad in middle east i can do that i want to post my ad in mumbai i can do that so like this i can post my ad in any uh, part of the world and uh, people from those locations can respond to me uh, with that uh, particular website so that's a world's biggest classified website called as craigslist.com 
so that uh, we are going to study when we do off page seo and uh, after that we have uh, press release submission so of course i mean in india very few people read press releases uh, because uh, they feel uh, say i mean most of the people first of all do not know what is a press release so that's uh, the announcement by a company made on uh, something new ventures or product release or launch or anything any new update in the company they will uh, give a press release so that is uh, say in us it is very common that uh, uh, even a common man will read a press release and then move out of his house and uh, then uh, if it is related to him then he will act upon it so even if i want to release a press release for my company my website i can do that in india there are many websites that are available where i can put uh, free press releases most of them are paid ones but uh, at least we can utilize the free ones which are available and of course those websites are also having very good traffic so we don't need to worry about the end result of putting uh, press release on those websites in which ways uh, even if i get 1000 people from that website it's more than enough for me so that's okay so press release we can do and then uh, we have backlinks uh, so backlinks is something that in all the processes which we are seeing over here we are building a process of backlink building so what is backlink building i am putting my links on each and every website so why am i supposed to put uh, the links uh, of my website in all these websites so what is the going to happen see first of all when i put uh, my website links on another lakhs of websites so from those lakhs of websites their visitors will click that link and come to my website which in turn means that i am having lakhs of traffic coming up on my website and then out of those lakhs, uh, lakhs of uh, visitors who are coming on my website maybe few hundred or few tens of people might purchase my product or from my website so that is one of the benefit and then if uh, say uh, say there are lakhs of links of uh, my website on some another website then google will say that uh, this website is being talked about on lakhs of websites or thousands of websites or millions of websites which means that this website is very important means our website is very important so it will automatically increase the rank of our website in google search so if your website is on the first page but at the bottom of the page then it will come up at the top of the page or somewhere above the middle or and in between the top of the page your website will be there so i mean like this the ranking will automatically increase see by doing search engine optimization we can definitely increase the rank of our website but uh, that is not 100% guaranteed that by S by doing seo your website will come up in search engine because it's a tedious process and it has complex algorithms that are mentioned by google and we need to follow more than 300 parameters uh, to get our website into search engine over here we were just seeing few of them which are the most important parameters which we just saw in the previous screen over here so like title tags and description url site navigation site map images headings so like this we are just seeing over here few parameters uh, from title tag to mobile seo but like this there are more than 200 parameters uh, which we need to follow if we want to get our website into search engine so i mean that's a tedious process and if you go to do that it will consume a lot of time and efforts and uh, maybe after few days you will uh, i mean everyone will get fed up and uh, they stop doing it so then what is the next option then the next option is a sure shot guaranteed uh, option that is with the help of off page seo so off page seo uh, requires even more efforts than on page seo but it is 100 percent assured and the work is very easy over there over here we don't have any algorithms we don't have any conditions we don't have anything uh, any conditions uh, to be fulfilled over here there is only one condition that your link should be on another website that's it only one condition 
whether you add text or not you add title or not you add description or not but your link should be there so that is the most important thing so now if you do this uh, regularly then uh, i mean i don't say that uh, if you start today tomorrow your website will come up in search engines but yes you start with five links today 10 links tomorrow 15 links day after tomorrow so in one month you might have uh, some uh, few hundred links uh, based on uh, various websites then second month third month so maybe after a span of six months to one year you might have uh, 5000 to 10000 links on various websites your website will start to see traffic and visibility and uh, you will start to see gaining uh, say a good position in search engine after all these effects uh, efforts i mean sorry yeah so yes like this uh, it is done so this is one of the best thing that we can do because over here we are going to get guaranteed results and uh, guaranteed traffic that we are going to get that is one of the most important thing because uh, see the links that we are placing people are going to click on those links and come to our website so that's uh, the main intention that uh, why are we doing all this so that uh, people from around the world will come to our website and by doing this uh, the people are definitely going to come up on our website so we can use all these uh, optimization techniques and uh, we can use this now when i'm talking that uh, talking about uh, each and every category like directory submission search engine submission blogs and article submissions in each and every category uh, there are thousands and millions and lakhs of websites available so how will you register how will you remember the names and uh, say like usernames and passwords for each and every website so for that what you need to do is from my experience i came to know that what we need to do is you need to create an excel file i mean you can create whatever is convenient to you but uh, yes this is what uh, i am i have created for myself because i felt that this is the easiest one say like over here you can see i have created the website uh, url i have added then the username i have added then the password i have added then uh, say some website will require email address and password some website will require username and password so what are the four fields that are required first of all the website name username password and email these are the four fields that are required so you just create four columns website url username password and email so somewhere uh, you might also require email address and password somewhere username and password so you have all the four uh, fields for a safer uh, side and uh, say you keep on adding this as you register so maybe you might uh, you might register five websites today uh, seven websites tomorrow then ten websites day after tomorrow so over a period of time you might have many websites uh, listed over here and then you can start promoting all the content so that's one of the best things and you will have a database for lifetime because whenever you want to promote anything say today you are promoting your website tomorrow you want to promote your videos so you can again use all these things all these websites and post your videos over here and uh, if you want you can uh, add one more column which will say the type of website so say like someone uh, so, some is a social media website some is uh, say classified website some of them are uh, another another type of website so it can be like blog article classified directory submission press release or social bookmarking so you can add so in future if you say that i want to uh, submit all my video on all social media website now every day you are registering on various websites so how will you get to know that which website is social media website so if you add a column and put it uh, that okay this is a social bookmarking website or this is a social media website or this is a classified website then what you need to do is then you just need to provide filters so i can just say like uh, data and uh, then i can say filter and then i will just select that uh, i want uh, only social bookmarking websites so in one second i will get all the websites which are social bookmarking websites over here 
so yes you, we can see over here so then I can click on each and every link and then I can st post my video if I'm having thousands of websites then uh, it is very difficult to know so depending on my experience I started to add one column after the other as per requirement so that is what uh, so this uh, column is also very very important so that you get to know that what type of website is this whether it is a social uh, social networking website or a classified website or a directory submission website or a press release website so that's it so like that you can use it and uh, you can just create an excel file so that you can use it in future so that is uh, the report section that we can create for off page seo so like this you can create a lot of things over here and uh, that is uh, off page seo that we will be doing after uh, completing on page seo in the next session we will be starting the practical work so from the next session we will not have any slides almost towards the end of the uh, course we will have uh, some slides but uh, uh, from the next session to almost end of the course we will not see any slides now everything practical sessions are beginning this is the basic understanding so and this is the most important module of digital marketing that is the reason i had to explain this that how things work in seo so after that over here there is some description like uh, this is meta title and meta description so which we have already seen the blue color title in uh, search engine is meta title or page title and uh, the tags so that is the keywords that we use are uh, called as meta tags so like this this meta title meta tags and meta description then meta description is uh, below the uh, meta title in search engine so the text that we see at the bottom of uh, the url or the title tag that is uh, meta description and then uh, over here this is the simple understanding of the url that this is the base url that is the single domain then a shallow folder so that is the structure so over here in my case helpopedia.com slash course and uh, after that course under course which course digital marketing so domain.com slash course slash digital marketing so this is the structure of the uh, folder and then the keyword over here so this is what we were talking in on page seo where i need to have my keyword uh, placed in the url also so this is the url structure of any website then xml sitemaps uh, we have seen so xml sitemap file is uh, uh, xml file that is saved to a website server it contains a list of all the url sub pages belonging to the website so these files help search engines to learn more about the structure of a website so and uh, this also speeds up the crawl process and reduce the likelihood that uh, the crawler will overlook uh, sub pages so it will not miss any pages and it will uh, take up all the pages which are mentioned in the uh, sitemap.xml uh, file so then like i said that uh, we need to use consistently images across the website and uh, we need to provide the tags for the images like i mentioned that we need to use the uh, name of a particular images so like over here if i'm searching for a chocolate cake then all the chocolate cakes will come up in google images so no other uh, flavor will come up no strawberry no uh, raspberry or any other uh, flavor will not come up only uh, chocolate uh, will come up over here so like that we need to use the proper uh, uh, naming conventions for each and every file and of course there are some additional tags also that we need to use that is the alt tag so alt tag can be added only when we are uploading uh, images on the website so we will again go to the images that we have already uploaded and add the alt tags so alt tag means alternative tags so that we need to use so that is basically a small piece of information telling about the 
uh, what this image is actually all about and then we have a small description also for the image where we can provide some uh, few lines of description about the image so when google is uh, searching for some image at that time say it will find the most relevant image because we have added all the information in the image file and uh, the place where we have to upload the image so over here that uh, we have the all tag and the description where we have uh, added the details of uh, the image and uh, then our image will be easily coming up uh, in <coughs> search engines so that is images and then after that headings we were talking about so heading uh, after every 300 paragraphs we were uh, talking about adding headings so heading does not mean that i will increase the font and make it bold no that is not called as heading see heading is being distinguished from paragraph by the key uh, say the coding which is done at the back end so it so the google bot or uh, say the google bot or the spiders who will come to our website they are not going to read the website like how we do from the front they will go at the back end and read the code inside the website so in the website we have mentioned that this is h1 so h1 means heading 1 heading 2, heading 3, heading 4, heading 5 and heading 6. So there are only 6 types of headings. So H1 is the biggest one over here and uh, H6 is the smallest one. So after the, that the smallest one is the paragraph text. So that is all the headings. So if I have used H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6 then Google bot will get to know that okay yes after every 300 words we have used headings so that is headings that we need to use and uh, at least we need to have some uh, say keywords placed in the headings so that is what we have and uh, after that the robot.txt file which we have uh, seen also so that is uh, the um, robot.txt file a product of uh, robot exclusion protocol so is a file stored on the website's root directory it is not linked anywhere and uh, it is used to hide date confidential data which we don't want to show or crawl uh, example bank login passwords etc so then that we should maintain over here so like i mentioned that what we should allow and what we should not allow so that we can use so star means the section applies to all robots and disallow tells the robot not to visit any pages on the site so that is what we tell uh, robots so like in our case we had used disallow and then we had mentioned only the directory one particular directory but if i say disallow slash then no search engine will be able to crawl any pages of my website so that is what we can use over here so that is robot.txt file so after that we have keywords so for keywords uh, in the next session i will be taking the practical session where i will be uh, helping you to understand how do we do keyword research how to find the right kind of keywords so with that uh, we will have a clear picture that if i have three to four keywords in mind and uh, i might be planning to use one keyword but uh, probably after searching on some of the tools uh, i would say that okay it's good that i did not use it was a bad idea to use that keyword because uh, there was no enough uh, search volume in a month for that particular keyword so i will uh, we will learn that uh, which keyword is being searched in what volume in google in every single month so yes we have tools wherein we can find uh, which keyword is search how many times in google every single month uh, over here and from which country so in case if your uh, uh, if your website is targeting to any other countries then uh, yes you want to know what is the competition of that keyword in some another country so that is what the keyword research is so like that in the next session we will be learning about uh, three different tools that are available which are provided by google itself however there are hundreds of tools available but we are going to use the best tools which are provided by google 
so that will help us a lot and uh, say worldwide people are using those tools so that is uh, say the keyword research how and which keyword should be used and why should we use that keyword what is the value of those keywords that all things we are going to see uh, in the next session practically so the next session would be on the tools that is the google tools so that we will learn so now in this session we have learned what is seo and how to do seo and uh, in the next session we will be learning the google tools so then combining both the sessions today's session and the next session you will then be able to do very good seo in coming days so then uh, you will uh, we will learn how to do seo so of course we will be adding more articles to the website and uh, we will learn how to do seo practically today we have just seen theoretically not practically but practical is important theoretically is not important Theoret theoretically is important only for the sake of knowledge that how it is done so if we know then we can do it practically so that is the session that we have done today so the next session would be on tools where we will be doing a lot of keyword research which keyword to use which keyword not to use and why so that is keywords and then content and density so we were talking about the density is the percentage of times a keyword appears on the page compared to the total number of words so like uh, we were talking about uh, say the two to three percent of the content should be the keywords so it should not be more uh, than that ratio which is provided by google so otherwise it will be called as keyword uh, stuffing or uh, keyword uh, spamming so we should not use that so the optimum keyword density should be three percent so i said that it is two to three percent so three percent is on the higher end and uh, two percent is on the lower end so in between two to three percent i can use anything uh, so that's absolutely fine so we are within the range so we are not using less we are not using more we are using something which is moderate so after that we have keyword research so like i said that uh, uh, discover keywords using multiple tools and sources so in the next session we are going to learn three tools for keyword research segments keywords so searches intent conversion information influencer marketing so what is the intent of the searcher so i mean why a person wants to use such a keyword so that all of course searchers intent so that we cannot predict but uh, yes uh, from different categories what type of keywords we can we can search that we will be seeing and then we can prioritize the keywords by collecting different uh, keyword metrics like uh, volumes difficulty click through ratio opportunity and then the competition of the keyword so like this there are quite a few factors that we can uh, check and then we can use it and then of course uh, determine the keyword tagging targeting and uh, new content creation priority over here uh, so that we can see so we can also predict the future of any keyword that uh, today is november going on and uh, i want to know what would be what would be the uh, future of that particular keyword in terms of uh, uh, the value and the volume of the keyword search so that all things i should know so that's what uh, this keyword research is all about so then uh, say off page optimization i've already uh, we have already seen that what are the things that we are going to do in off page optimization then say like over here there are various uh, directories so over here we have uh, curly.org so which is a successor of demos directory so demos directory was the world's biggest uh, directory submission website so now that has retired and the successor is curly.org so where we can get our websites added as per the category provided and then over here whenever a people searches with our keywords our website uh, and our content will come up so that is the directory submission and uh, search engine submissions so that mostly we will not require to do but uh, still if there are any older search engines then we can find them and we can add our pages to those sub uh, search engines so over here this would be like the interface wherein you can uh, 
submit your website uh, to search engines wherein you can provide your uh, email address uh, your url of the website and uh, say the name over here the business phone the country and uh, some uh, uh, captcha that we need to enter and then we can submit now and then it will start to submit to more than uh, 70 plus search engines over here so like that we can use these services and uh, these are some of the websites uh, where we can promote our blogs we can write our blogs over here so that is in off page seo we can write something about our website in these blogs so yeah after that uh, say these are some more uh, blogs and article submission websites that we can use then uh, we have social bookmarking over here mm, uh, so say like reddit.com dig.com tumblr.com linkedin.com quora.com pinterest is there instagram is there uh, youtube is there vimeo is there so like this there are various websites i mean these are just few of them i mean uh, i'm going to show you hundreds of them so uh, that is all what we are going to see and then uh, some press release websites which are available so uh, finding a press release website would be a bit difficult process but uh, because we are searching for the free ones the paid ones we will find immediately so yes uh, we can just check out and uh, we can submit our content on those websites also but of course it requires to look like a press release so after that uh, we are building uh, backlinks so so backlinks are the incoming links which refer to all the links on other website so basically uh, backlink is uh, the links uh, which we place on another website and uh, that will uh, say uh, say like uh, people will click on the links and come to our website so that is uh, called as uh, backlinks so people click on those link and come back to our website so that is the reason it is called as backlinks and uh, of course uh, say like the strong ex strong example of backlink is wikipedia which contains millions of links on that website and uh, then of course we are going to see about the mobile search engine optimization process so how the mobile optimization is done with the help of google search and uh, google maps google now google play so that is uh, like i said that we just need to install some uh, plugins that is the schema plugins the standards plugin that we need to install and uh, it will be taken care of uh, but uh, say for search and google maps it's fine uh, for google play we need to do actual uh, say like on page seo like uh, <coughs> the content seo which we are going to do in on page seo the similar uh, type of seo we need to do it uh, for the play store app but that is just in case if we have a mobile app to upload on a play store so these are the things that uh, we are going to see uh, see in coming two sessions so the next session we are going to see uh, the important tools provided by google so we have to learn three tools uh, provided by google and then uh, say from the next to next session we will be uh, starting with the practical implementation of seo how actually are we going to do seo on our website so how to solve the problems on our website and uh, how to make our website search engine friendly so that is what uh, we can make over here so that's all about the search engine optimization and uh, we will go deep into the topic when we go practically into the session so that's it for search engine optimization uh, so if you have any questions you can uh, let me know i was asking yeah. uh, images i am posting on say uh, facebook or instagram yeah. or uh, twitter or uh, maybe share chat yes i use some file name to the uh, image yes uh, so the purpose for which you are uploading say like if you are uh, writing some topic and for that you are uploading that image then you can uh, rename that image to that topic name so then okay. it will be relevant to it say like suppose i am uh, 
posting an image to promote my digital marketing course then i will rename that image to digital marketing course so then okay. it will be very relevant so on okay. any website i mean it can be okay. social media website or even a website so like that okay. yeah acha and you talking about all those uh, uh, links uh, for various pages so all those uh, will be stored on the server where the uh, website is been uh, what do you call uh, uh, hosted right uh, say yes uh, right now uh, say yes all our website links will be stored on our server where uh, all the files of our website are stored okay. so that is in the hosting uh, which we have purchased for our website okay That's all. Okay, fine, sir. See you in the next session. Goodbye. Good uh, so eleventh, eleventh, we have session, right? Sorry. Eleventh on Friday we have session, right? Uh, say Friday. Like I said that uh, this Friday is the last uh, corporate training. So fourth and eleventh, I had mentioned that I won't be available. Ah. So, so it, on this Friday I won't be available, but uh, I will try if I can give you some of the day in between. Fine. So, so yes. today is so we we will yeah. we'll meet on next Wednesday now. Uh, say i I'll, i'll try to see uh, oh. at least uh, say if not uh, friday then uh, say maybe saturday sunday or monday whatever days are coming up in between i i will uh, try to provide you the days okay okay so, if you can get that uh, the previous uh, sessions class of yes uh, yes absolutely sir those uh, I, i will definitely provide oh, you yes, oh, sir. Okay. thank you thank you right, thank you sir, thank thank you, sir. You.